Hey, so guess what? I got seeds. I got a mail haul for Microformer. Those who know YouTube, you know, Micro is famous for giving away seeds, helping people out that are starting their gardens. And they're like, I don't know what to do or I don't have any seeds. He is famous for that, you know? Um, if you say you need something, nine out of ten times he's got it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. He always seems to have the seeds, or he'll always have a connection of some sort. And he was like, "What do you need? How many of them do you need?" So, since I am now a new homeowner, he gifted me some seeds. I'm so excited. So yeah, um, I don't know how many, how many this is. I probably should count them, huh? I know it's more than 10. Yeah, oh, that was 10. <laughs> yeah, that's 20. Okay, so I have 33 packets of seeds. Okay, so... He gave me, oh, that's cool. Okay, I got some culinary, the culinary herbs. So it's cilantro. I don't like cilantro. I know they have this thing on the internet that says if you like cilantro, people either like cilantro or they don't. It either tastes like soap or metal. Like there's a whole thing on people who do cilantro and people who don't add it. Yeah, but yeah. But it has cilantro, basil, parsley, and oregano. So, I am definitely excited about that because with this being my first garden in my home, um, my new home, I'm going to do herbs. I'm going to plant my herbs and the things that I need to, um, you know, do my medicinals and do my products because I do an herbal health care type um business so i'm trying to expand it trying to grow so hang around with me with that um also me being in a different grow zone is new to me so we're gonna see what else we got so i got some squash i got two different kinds of squash straight neck squash Yellow crook neck squash. And I got cauliflower. I love pepper, so we're going to see how that goes. A California wonder pepper. Never heard of it. Um, I've got two different types of cucumbers. Red cherry tomatoes. Um, an heirloom tomato of some sort. I've never seen those. It'll be interesting. Oh, while I'm while I'm while I'm doing this. So I have birds. I noticed that there are a lot of birds. So I'm gonna have to plant like a lot, at least like two of some things, um, so that the birds can have their share. Cause I already know they're gonna eat up some of my crops, which is cool. I, I'm I'm being okay with that. Um, another tomato. A beefsteak tomato. Now, I tried to grow this tomato in my apartment. That tomato did not grow for me. So, I'll see if it if it does it here in my in North Carolina. So, I don't know. We, we might. But carrots. Scarlet. Is that Nancy's carrots? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and a colorful carrot mix. So, last year, I planted, <laughs> I planted carrots. And then we had that weird freeze that came through. I thought my carrots had died. But apparently my carrots didn't. I grew my carrots in a Home Depot bucket. I thought my carrots had died. So I just kept the dirt and planted something else in the bucket. I think I planted an avocado tree in the bucket. And then these little things, these little green things kept coming up. <laughs> and I kept pulling up. I was like, this is some weird looking weed. And one day I was just like, can you use your plant app to find out what kind of weed that is? Because it, it doesn't look like a regular weed. It was my carrots. 
My carrots were still trying to grow. They had survived the freeze. Then as I read, carrots need the freeze. Okay. That's traumatic, but yeah. So I've got, <laughs> I got more carrots. Um, two different types of onions. No, see, okay, so look, funny story about micro farmer and these <laughs> celery seeds. <laughs> so last year I was like, why don't you just go get you some organic celery, you know, celery seed from the grocery store. And he was like, I was like, same thing. He was like, well, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Cause he always says he's an experimental gardener. So he grew up, he was like, this don't look like celery. It said it was celery, so. I think I might try it. That was just funny. Um, jalapenos. I love peppers. I just absolutely love peppers. Maybe. My goal last year was to grow peppers so I could make hot sauce. And the weather did not like it um, because it was hot. And you know, you know it's bad when it's hot. We had like record heat. When it's hot, it's too hot for peppers to grow. You know it's hot. Um, so yeah, we've got some thyme, got some dill, got some oregano. Also, I got two oreganos because I got the oregano in the culinary blend. And you gotta have your pollinators around, so you need what? You need flowers. Um, so I got some marigolds oh i got some more sage how did these get mixed up never mind um a winter squash we're gonna try that and sunflowers now i've never grown sunflowers because I, yeah, I just couldn't grow a sunflower on my balcony because i don't know how tall they get does it tell you how tall they get on here it doesn't tell you it doesn't tell you. Apparently, though, it takes 85 days to harvest. So if I plant it, I've got 85 days for it to harvest. And it's got to have full sun. So I don't know if I want to grow this. Like, I could probably grow this like on the side of my house. I think I might do that. <laughs> so I've got zinnias. Okay, let me tell you about lavender. I tried to grow lavender last year as well. It didn't work out. I don't know. I don't know if my conditions weren't right or if it didn't like growing in a bucket. Because I got it as a start. Put it in a bucket. Um, Try to see if it would do what it does. It didn't like it. I don't know. We'll try it again. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll try. How long does it take? So it takes 10 to 28 days to germinate. I might be able to make that happen. Nope. I'm not going to be able to make that happen. It says start seeds indoor six to eight weeks before the last frost. My last frost, according to Google is April. I may have April 13th is my last frost date. So it's today. What is today? Today is February. I got a whole Apple Watch right here on my <laughs> Today is February 19th. Like a whole I had a whole, yeah. So, February 19th, two, three. I might be able to eke by with six weeks. I might be able to pull that off. Trip to Home Depot. <laughs> and I got another packet of sunflowers. But, yeah. um, Thanks, Micro, for all my seeds. Um... He always comes through in the clutch for you, girl. So, you know, I appreciate you, guy. 
um, check out his channel so you can find out how to grow stuff because I have no idea like what I'm doing sometimes. I just kind of like throw a seed in the dirt and be like, watch what it does. He goes through the whole, you need to do this and you need to add this and don't buy that when you can just make this and compost. He has all the answers for compost with rabbit poop. I'm like, I don't have any pits. So he was like, well, add this and do this to your soil. You need to learn how to mend your soil. You need to know how to make your soil healthy. I was like, just put seed in the dirt. He was like, dad, mm -mm, don't do that. <laughs> so, but yeah, so check out his channel. Um, I'll try and link it because you know, you know, I'm still in these YouTube streets trying to figure out how to link channels, but I will definitely tag him in the description. So that way you can just go to his channel. But yeah, but look, I got seeds. Thanks, Mike Rock.